I must also add though, uh, with all these advancement in uh, where the prices are coming down and advancement in technologies, that's all well and good. But then at the same time, solar does require space. So if you want to do a solar farm, I do agree with you that, you know, mm -hmm. um, official um, government buildings and every nook and cranny that is available that could be utilized. So that calls for some demand aggregation, right? But large scale solar farms is uh, rather difficult in a place like Bangladesh that is so land scarce. Wouldn't you agree? Yes and no, uh, because what happened uh, Bangladesh residential consumption is quite low because unlike other part of Asia either it's very hot that means everyone needs air conditioning or it's a freezing cold the countries that I cover in Central Asia you need continuous heating Bangladesh being <clears throat> in the 23 degree latitude you are neither cold nor hot so the energy demand is uh, even per capita consumption wise is very low so rooftop solar other than in a large multi-story building should be able to meet a lot of those needs especially rural areas but again if the industry we are talking about large industry yes it will need uh, you will need plants but bangladesh also don't have super power hun hungry 500 megawatt aluminium smelters or something so i think someone need to look at it again i as i qualified before i i, I know quite a little relative to many of your listeners about Bangladesh power situation. But I would still say that solar opportunities has not been fully tapped. Still a long way to go before we hit uh, that constraint saying, sorry, we don't want to take our arable land to go into solar.